we're going. King K. Rowan, the Captain Falcon. Professor taking the player two tag. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, I think we're on. Yeah, we're on muted. I think so. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're going to edit to 0-0 zero, zero here. Uh, wow, the game's just starting out. Uh, all right, never mind. We're not putting the score up there. I can't figure it out. However, all right, so we're going to get into the match here. Seems that uh, the professor is taking stage control. Oh, it is three to two. The professor might have done the signature move of the SD. To be honest, that's uh, that's a forbidden technique, uh, known by the only top of a mountain, the Smash Gods. You know, to kill yourself once to really just frazzle your opponent's brain. Going for the Falcon Punch. Really wanting to. Uh, Finish off this King K roll before he can take too much percent. Barely living that cannonball. Barely living that cannonball. He dodges the third cannonball. Making it back to stage. Very wounded. He's going to have to finish off this King K roll if he wants to close out that gap. But King K roll finishes him off. Taking it to 3 to 1. If I were King K roll, I'd start to play very defensive. You know, really just extend that gap as much as possible. You don't want to really overextend, especially when you have a lead. Or you could go very aggressive and kill him as soon as possible. However, Falcon takes it back 2-1. He could turn it around. However, that 50% is looming over his head. He's going to need to put in some extra work to get to that point. Being sucked into the cannon, almost tapping that cannonball mid-flight. Making use of that side B into up smash. Stringing it together for a slick 43%. Gets hit off. This dangerous spot. Uses his recovery. Oh, but he lives the up air. He's out for blood. He's not going to let himself go down that easily. The Falcon Punch. He's behind him. Oh. Falcon really just trying to hold on to this neutral game. That grab into the up tilt. Oh, that'll kill. Closing out game one. A rather decisive victory from Nick. Let's see if uh, Professor can bring it back. Palatina and Captain Falcon. Uh, different choice from Nick. Uh, personally, I know Nick. He typically plays King K. Roll. Uh, because he's a sort of a decisive player. You know, just really puts out and closes out a lot of options with King K. Roll's projectiles. Let's see if this Palatina pick works out for him. Professor almost sneaking in that Falcon Punch in there. You know, if you if you hit him with that early, it sends a message. You know, you really just crack the cranium. Evening it out with a nice place forward smash. They're currently back to neutral. Getting a little bit of percent with that auto reticle. Falcon's just trying to get back to stage. A nicely placed air dodge really slips up Nick's, uh, Nick's hold. Oh! That one will shake the ground. That well placed Falcon Punch. Really not giving him any room to breathe even after he comes back 58 percent he's looking to clean it out the teleport isn't enough three to one that was swift the back throw barely ba ah but he's not able to recover from that distance an uppy would definitely be a, a better choice for that that side B into up tilt, that, that punch into the kick back down to the ground, really keeping uh, Palatina on her toes. Falcon really making use of his tilts right now, just getting those quick kicks and jabs and punches all up in there. Uh, 
Jokic is trying to get back to stage again. We've seen him do it before, and I guarantee you he's going to do it again. Oh, the down B. He's just using those jabs. Trying to just clean, trying to just close something out. Oh, a forward smash will close out game two, and we're going to game three. Professor was not going down without a fight. We're going to tilt this down a little bit. There we go. So you can see more of my beautiful face covered by a hat and a mask. All right, we're getting into game three here. King K. Roll instantly taking stage priority, going for the spike, but the stage spike leads to almost nothing, but it was quite flashly at the start of the game there. Falcon really making use of those special moves. He had some sort of invincibility that didn't let him get bought by the crown when it went through. Okay, we're really establishing stage control. But a nicely placed special. Barely lets him back in. Oh, but he catches him with the up air, taking it to a 3 2 match. Professor really needs to watch out. King K. Roll closes out a lot of options very quickly with his projectiles. That crown and that cannonball are very good to build percent with. Nick is using that to build best. Uh, he's using it as best he can. And it's working out, so. Falcon is trying to make it back to stage. Nick really not letting him uh, get in at all. You know, you never really want to give your opponent room to breathe. Even if you need to back up, you don't want the, your opponent to think that they're safe. You can't let them collect their thoughts. You know, always poses a threat. Falcon going for that infamous up tilt at the ledge. If King K. Rolls plays a little too close, he might get spiked. But he rolls in and hits him with that forward smash. Professor is really going to need to play safe here. He doesn't want to get too much of a lead racked up on him while he's on that last stock. Trying that falcon punch again. Glorious choice of a move, just very dangerous. Nick really racking up that lead, not letting this third stock go. Or this first stock go. Woo! Barely closing, almost closing out the game with a board there. But we're back to neutral, but Falcon loses stage control. That cannonball might have saved him. Not sure if he could have drifted back, but a forward air will close out the match. Making game two a three to one, three stop victory for Nick. A rather decisive win.